and welcome back to the channel in this video we're gonna actually finish this engine build and I could just put it aside and just let it sit until it's ready to go into a car I just want to thank everyone who's been watching I know it doesn't really apply to a lot of people because not everyone is just out building an engine especially this same engine but uh, I do appreciate the people who are watching just for the sake of watching because you're subscribed to my channel so it really means a lot to me and I hope you enjoy this final video on this engine build Here I have a crank pulley that belongs to an Acura TSX. I bought this one brand new from the dealer. The one that came with my engine was just in such poor shape that I did not want to use it. And the crank pulley that comes on the K20 is just a slightly smaller diameter and I didn't want to go that route. So I went with the Acura TSX pulley. Here I have the K-Tuned AC and Power Steering Delete Kit. It relocates the alternator down here for more clearance. Now I have an older version of this kit since I bought it a while ago and they have made revisions to it. But with this specific kit that I have here, let's just say I am less than satisfied with it. Here I'm using the Acura RSX Type S alternator. If you look up the instructions for this kit, which by the way you have to look online because the instructions are not included inside of the packaging when you buy this kit. So once you look it up online, you're going to see that this kit was kind of designed around the alternator that comes in the RSX Type S. Uh, it may work for other alternators, but they specifically mentioned the RSX Type S alternator in the instructions. The k tune kit does include a new pulley for the alternator so you're going to have to remove your old one which is pretty easy to do. Now you have to replace it because you can see how the new pulley is offset and what that's going to do is help align the belt better. Now you do have to apply some sort of thread locker on this nut right here for the alternator and for some reason I completely forgot. 
and it's why later on when I'm installing the belt you're gonna see that I don't completely uh, get the belt tight how it's supposed to be because I knew I was gonna be right back in here to remove that nut and put some thread locker on it and here's a nice shot to show that the new pulley does align with everything else Yes, I know I should be using the correct socket for this, but in my defense, I was just too lazy to go into the garage to get it. And number two, I knew I was going to be taking this off again because I forgot to put that thread locker on the nut for the alternator. So it's not really an issue because I knew I was going to come back to it. I picked up this tool thinking it would make this job a lot easier but after trying it a few times I'm not really feeling it so I just went back to using a flathead screwdriver and a 10mm wrench to get this job done. The valve last specification that I'm using here are from Drag Cartel because I'm using their camshafts. If you're using OEM camshafts the specs are going to be slightly different. For the RSX, I believe the stock plugs have a heat range of 7 and I'm going to be running a heat range of 8 in my build. It's nice that this baffle is removable on the K-Tune valve cover and you can see right out of the box they have silicone on each and every bolt just to ensure that they don't back themselves out.
Here's another kit that I'm less than satisfied with. It's the Skunk 2 Valve Cover Dress Up Kit. And honestly, there are things that just did not fit well. Things that you expect to work right out the box and you have to sit here and modify things and make them work. I'm sorry, but that's unacceptable. Uh, it looks nice at the end of the day, but if you want something that's more functional and you just want it to work, I would avoid this kit. And before anyone points it out, I know that the K on the oil cap is upside down and the reason for that is because I was originally going to use a different valve cover so I put the sticker on there in its correct place. Uh, but since I ended up changing valve covers to this black one, now the cap did not stop in its original location and trust me I tried to peel the sticker off but it just isn't happening without damaging it. And we are done here. So I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's been following along with this. I really appreciate it. Uh, to answer some questions very quickly, what cars are going in? Well, I plan on buying a Sierra X. The problem is just trying to find a clean one. How much horsepower? Well, if I could make close to 300 wheel horsepower with this build, I'll be happy with it. So with that being said, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And like always, thanks for watching. Five, four, three, two, one.